In this video we're going to be looking at Ubuntu. That is the LXDE version of the standard Ubuntu release. Now LXDE, as you probably know, is a lightweight desktop manager. Um, it's used in Ubuntu in contrast to the GNOME desktop used by the standard distribution. And so Ubuntu's target audience is basically Ubuntu fans who require Ubuntu to run on low specification hardware. So we're going to take you through the latest release. This is the beta copy of Ubuntu 12.04. Um, the uh, correct version is not due out until April. So we're a couple of weeks ahead of schedule. But you can bet that the uh, interface is going to look very, very similar to this. So I think what we'll do is we'll just take a tour around the desk as we normally do. As you'll notice the desktop is quite a Spartan one. So up here at the top we've got this single icon here which is to install Ubuntu to our hard disk. Now I'm running this demo from a simple USB stick and as you will see during the demonstration the response is absolutely excellent. In fact um, I was quite amazed at the boot speed straight from this USB stick. It booted in under 30 seconds so that is fantastic. So I'd expect if it was installed to a hard disk it would go down to a fraction of that sort of time. So we're not going to install it now, so we'll ignore that. So I guess what we'll start off with is down here in what I'm calling the LXDE panel. Very similar to the KDE panel. So down in here in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, you can see the LXDE logo. If I just left-click onto that, I get to the main menu. So standard kind of options up here. Lots of submenus off here, so we've got an accessories option, we've got a day games option, we've got graphics, internet programs such as browser and our um, instant messenger and our email client, um, office applications such as word processor and spreadsheet, sound and video, so that's got your um, MP4 player and your MP3 audio player and also your um, DVD burner. There we go. XF burn. So that's just taking the option off there. What else we got down here? We've got system tools. So the main package manager down here is well there's the Ubuntu update manager which takes care of the operating system updates, but the main um package manager is Synaptic. But there is also this um G Debian Debian package installer if you uh for some reason have a grudge against Synaptic. Um the preferences allows you to customize the desktop and um, the customization is pretty good here I and mean, it's maybe not up to total KDE standards but it's not far short so um, it's really quite impressive for a uh, low footprint operating system. Okay the run option obviously allows you to run a script or an application without actually dropping to a command line window and logout just accesses the uh, shutdown and log off menu which we'll come to later. Ah there you go. So I'm just going to cancel that. So moving along from the LXDE icon, we have this other icon down here, which is a shortcut to the file manager. Now, Ubuntu uses the standard LXDE file manager, which I think is called PCMan FM, and works pretty much like any other file manager that you come across. Um, you can single click to select something, double click to navigate down into a folder and then back up. You can single click to select a file, you can double click to run the file. So in this case it's a, uh, it's a uh, test video that I tried earlier. Mm, very fetching. And um, you can right click a file and do things like delete it, rename it, etc. Play with the properties. So standard kind of things that you can normally do on a file manager. Obviously you've got a trash can and you've got access to the desktop here. As you can see we've only got this one um, particular icon on the desktop. So if you actually want to put an extra icon on the desktop you can just left click and drag it and then just drop it onto the desktop there. Then if you decide later on that you don't actually want it on the desktop you can right click it and delete it. Okay, gives you a further confirmation before it actually does it. 
So that's the file manager, nice and simple. So moving across from the file manager icon, we have an icon for the default web browser, which is Chromium. So this is the uh, open source version of Google's browser. So it's a good browser, it's very fast at painting. Um, the only gripe I have with it over something like Firefox is that you, in order to get hold of a lot of options, you've got to come into this spanner menu and go down here. So for instance, to set your uh, um, home page, you've got to come down here and go to your preferences and change it. Okay, so that's the browser. So to the right of the browser, we have the Iconify menu. Okay, so this is just the standard minimize any windows that are on the desktop. So here's my FFmpeg window that's been running in the background. Command line window, if I hit the Iconify button, it'll take it down and minimize it. Um, unlike some desktops, if you hit the Iconify a second time, it doesn't toggle the window back up into its maximized state. You have to go on and click on the window again to display it. So let's just bring up another window here. Let's bring up our file manager window again here, just to illustrate these next two icons, which are your workspace switches. So at the moment, I am on desktop one, um, but I have a second desktop in which I can uh, partition my tools in. If I click on that, you can see that's desktop two. It's empty. So at the moment, I've got these two windows on desktop one. And if I wanted to uh, move one of them over to desktop 2, I just right click on the uh, banner at the top here and I can do a send to desktop 2 on it. Okay. So here we are on desktop 2. That's desktop 1 now. We've just got the one window and desktop 2, we've got the other window. So that's just a nice way of partitioning your work into two separate areas. I believe you can expand the number of uh, desktops that you have along there, but the default is 2. And as you can see, this middle area of the um, LXDE panel just contains the minimized applications that you have on the desktop. In this case, it's my file manager. Over on this right-hand side is the system tray, very much like Windows. On this default installation here, we've got the volume control. So I click on that, and you've just got a slider where you can increase or decrease the volume of the system or mute it. Click back on it to hide the icon. Here we've got an indication of the battery life. If I right click that I can get some more information up here on the type of battery, the, the processors using it, etc. Um, what power we've got coming into the machine. So that's quite useful for if you're running on a laptop. This very strange icon here is the network icon. I think it's a little graph of actually what's going on on the system and from here you can um, configure your connection and um, you can disconnect it and uh, check on the status etc. This is the system time down here and if we click on that we get a little window pop up with the current month in there but uh, unlike the GNOME version of Ubuntu if you double click the dates it doesn't hyperlink into the uh, scheduler application which for Ubuntu would be Osmo. So I'll click back on the time to hide that and down here in the bottom right hand corner of the window we have the shutdown option again it's another shortcut to that shutdown menu so same options that we saw earlier on I'm just going to cancel out of that one other thing to show you is the uh, right click menu so this allows you to do some basic things like create a file and the most useful option is the desktop preferences. So we can come in here, we can, for instance, configure the um, desktop wallpaper, we can change the font we use and the size of it, etc. One nice thing I noticed here, click on this option here and close it. It actually changes the options you get on the right click and you've got shortcuts to all the stuff down here in your panel, like the file manager, command line window, the browser, and then through to the accessories, etc. down here. I find that version of the right-click menu to be um, much more useful. So, in a nutshell, that is Ubuntu. It's very fast, it's quite slick, uh, nothing's missing, it's perfectly usable, maybe just lacks a bit of the glitz and glamour of its GNOME counterpart.